Hi, I'm Bas Nermant and I'm presenting our latest work, Canon Pose, Self-Supervised Monocular 3D Human Pose Estimation in the Wild. This was a joint work with the Leibniz University of Hanover and the University of British Columbia. Human Pose Estimation has made huge progress in the last years. Nowadays, deep learning approaches dominate the field that are trained with large data sets with images and corresponding ground truth 3D poses. These are recorded in sophisticated, expensive motion capture studios and contain mostly everyday poses, such as sitting or walking. However, this is only a small part of human activities. There are other activities where motion capture setups are not practical or even impossible to set up. Therefore, limited or no training data exist for such activities and consequently approaches trained on everyday motions struggle to reconstruct these unseen poses. To solve this problem, we use multi-view self-supervision to train a monocular 3D pose estimator. Apart from temporally synchronized cameras and the pre-trained 2D joint predictor on a different dataset, our approach requires no further information about the scene, poses or cameras. Let's start from a single view. We train a lifting network that predicts a 3D human pose. We want this pose to be in a canonical orientation. In parallel, we predict a camera that projects the predicted 3D pose back to 2D. If our 3D pose and the camera are correctly estimated, the back projection matches the 2D input pose. We use a back projection error as a loss. However, there are many possible solutions for this scenario. That's where the multi-view self-supervision comes into play. Using two or more cameras during training, we apply the same lifting network to the second view. The two predicted 3D poses should be equal since they are in a canonical coordinate system. However, our experiments showed that inequality constraints on these two poses leads to unstable and non-optimal convergence. Instead, we propose to mix these two reconstructions. By combining the camera from the first with the 3D pose from the second view, we project the second pose to the first view. In this way, the canonical orientation is created automatically without any constraints on the canonical rotation. The same is done for the camera from view 2 and the 3D pose from camera 1. We now have four losses two for the direct back projection and two for mixing both cameras. We achieve further improvement by integrating joint confidences given by the 2D pose estimator. Given a standard L1 reprojection loss, we simply multiply each entry by the respective joint confidence. During training, this helps to focus more on joints that are detected with a high confidence. Here we trained our approach on multi-view recordings of skiers. During inference, only a single input is used to reconstruct the skier. In the middle, you see the reconstructions from multiple views that are nicely aligned in canonical space, again, without any constraints on their alignment. Although we only consider single images, we show results for sequences, first without any temporal information. Next, we apply a simple Gaussian smoothing to the predicted single image reconstructions, which leads to nice and smooth motions. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. For objective results for different datasets and more important implementation details, we like to refer to the paper. If you're interested, you can also download our code from GitHub.